In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate counter strain for the pelvis, specifically for the psoas muscle and the iliacus muscle. So first, we want to identify where our tender points are. So first, for the psoas muscle, we'll find ASIS, and we can find the psoas tender point two-thirds of the way from the ASIS to the midline. So here's the ASIS's, here's the midline. We would go one-third, two-thirds. Now pressing posteriorly into the abdomen, is there tenderness on either side here? Yes. On which side? The left side. On the left side. So now that we've established our tender point, we're going to switch our finger, and we're going to establish our pain scale. So this we're going to call a 10 out of 10, okay? okay? So now we're going to take off our shoe <laughs> and lift our patient's knees up onto our own knee. We can have our patient assist us during this part. And uh, we'll move them into flexion and a little bit of side bending towards the side of the dysfunction. And that's accomplished by bringing the knees and the ankles towards us. And once we've achieved what we think might be a good point, then we can compare to the original 10. So uh, what's the tenderness compared to the original 10 now? It's a two. Two. So we could further adjust using a little bit of additional flexion and side bending. And what is it now? A zero. A zero. So now in this treatment position, we can hold it for a full 90 seconds. So we're going to assume that 90 seconds passed. Now we're going to slowly return our patient back to neutral. During this phase, we want to be really careful uh, to not drop our patient and undo all of the work that we've done using counter strain. So we'll shift one leg across, scoop our arms under both of their legs, plant our feet down, and then slowly lower them to the table. And then we can reassess compared to the original 10. So uh, what's the tenderness now? A zero. Okay. For the iliacus tender point, we would go one third of the way from the ASIS to the midline. So from ASIS, one third, then we'll press posteriorly. Feel any tenderness? On my left side. On the left side. So now we're gonna call this again a 10 okay. out of 10. Now in this example, what we're gonna do is similar to the first one, we're going to flex them up and onto our knee but in this example, we're going to cross their ankles, let their knees fall out to the side in the frog leg position, and then flex, which introduces flexion and marked external rotation, which is gonna help shorten that iliacus muscle. So now that we're at this position, what is the tenderness related to the original 10 too? Okay. I'm gonna fine tune with a little bit of additional flexion, which adds flexion and external rotation combined. And now compared to the original 10, what is it now? A zero. A zero. So now here, we're going to maintain this position for a full 90 seconds. Really important for both of these techniques, uh, you want to make sure that the table height is appropriate so that you can stand, balance yourself, and sustain your patient in, a, in the correct treatment position for a sustained period of time without injuring yourself or without straining anything on your own body. Now we're going to assume that we completed 90 seconds and we're going to return you back to a neutral position. Try not to help me as much as you might like to. Okay. 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 We slowly undo that external rotation and flexion. Scoop under the legs and drop down to the table. Okay. Now compared to the original 10, what is the tenderness now? It's a zero. It's a zero. And that ends our technique.